Eloquent Systems, this is Merv Richter speaking. How can I help you? Hi, my name is Roya. I wonder if you can answer my questions about the Eloquent Records software. I found your software on the internet. Sure, I can give you a quick overview of the system. What would you like to know? Uh, first of all, I'm really curious to know about mobile friendly. What do you mean by that? It means that you can search the database with your mobile device from anywhere at any time. The screens adjust so they're easy to read on any mobile device, as well as any desktop browser. You may find this handy when you're in the storage room looking for boxes yourself, or your users in remote places may be looking for records themselves. Um, I see the software supports in information governance. What do you mean by EDRMS? Well, the software covers electronic documents as well as the traditional records management for hard copy records. Uh, if my user searches and finds that the item is not digital and cannot be viewed online, what does he do? Well, he simply clicks on a link that will partially populate a web form with information about the item. He adds his email address and any comments he wishes and sends it off. You get the resulting email and process his request. So it seems that Eloquent manages the entire life cycle of my request. Is the system modular so I don't have to start with everything? Uh, yes, uh, scroll down to um, modules, the modules section. Mm, it seems that they are all here. Do I have to buy them all? No, you just pay for what you need to get started. You may also get a discount if you don't have a lot of uh, records in the system. We can give you a new uh, key at any time, a license key at any time to add modules or to increase your capacity. I see that you interface with SharePoint. Do we have to move those documents to Eloquent? No. Uh, when you're in SharePoint and ready to declare a document as a record, you just simply identify the right subject in the Eloquent classification scheme and the metadata record will be automatically created in Eloquent. It links to the document which stays in SharePoint, where it can be found and viewed with either system. Can you show me how Eloquent integrates to a classification and retention schedule? Uh, yes, uh, open that link I sent you earlier. This one? Uh, yes, uh, then uh, click on uh, search classification in the upper right hand corner. This looks like a schedule from the Local Government Management Association of British Columbia. Yes, we use the LGMA as a sample for demo purposes, but the software will accommodate any classification scheme you may want to use. Uh, do you see the hierarchy icon beside the keyword prompt at the top? This one? Uh, yes, go ahead and click it. I recognize these broad categories. Yes, uh, the diagram in the instructions on the right shows five levels, but individual branches of the hierarchy can be longer or shorter. They don't all have to be the same length. Why don't they all have a plus so I can go down the hierarchy? Well, they would if we had entered all the LGMA data, but we wanted uh, just a sample for demo purposes. So uh, go ahead and click down uh, one of them. Uh, there is a lot of information on the right side about this level. Yes, when someone is selecting the right place to file a document, they can read the description to see if they're in the right place. They could also consider the, the suggested cross-references lower down as possible locations for filing. Notice that the legal citation can be any number of paragraphs, 
sometimes it's very long. Or it can simply link to the citation itself if it's available somewhere on the internet. Where are the retention rules? They're usually at the lowest level. So click one of the lower levels. I see these move from active storage to inactive after current year plus one and are destroyed after seven. Now, how do my users search for documents? Oh, um, okay, the, go back uh, to the search, uh, to the other search page. Back here? Uh, yes, and enter the word correspondence into the keyword prompt. In a live situation with a lot of records in the database, in the database, you'd narrow your search with additional parameters in one or two of the other access points. Now uh, scroll down and click on folder nine, the John Smith sample correspondence folder. Oh, this covers everything, even the shelf where it is located. How do I get started using this eloquent software? Well, go back to the Eloquent website and contact uh, our technical people. Yeah. Uh, you can call the, yes, you can call the 800 number or click on contact us. Uh, just complete this form and our technical people will get back to you right away. Sounds great. Many thanks for the overview. Now I understand why Eloquent Software is so popular. Well, thank you for your call and have a great day. You too. Goodbye. Goodbye.